Greetings citizens of the world. We are anonymous. This is a message to the foolish Zionist entities. We are coming back to punish you again for your crimes in the Palestinian territories. As we do every year, on the 7th of April, all we see is continuous aggression, bombing, killing, and kidnapping of the Palestinian people, as in the last war against Gaza, in 2014. We also see complete silence from other Arab and foreign countries. Although this is nothing new to us, we refuse to stand by idly. Our response to these heinous crimes against humanity will be on the 7th of April, 2015. As we did many times. We'll take down your servers. Government websites. Israeli military websites, banks. And public institutions. We'll erase you from cyberspace as we have every year. That the 7th of April, 2015, will be an electronic holocaust, a message to the youth of Palestine, you are a symbol of freedom, resistance, and hope. Never give up. Never give in. Never. We are with you, and will continue to defend you. Our message to the foolish Benjamin Netanyahu, and all leaders in the Zionist entities, as promised in previous attacks, we will continue to electronically attack until the people of Palestine are free. As shown in previous attacks, we will continue to invade and attack your devices, websites and personal data. To the government of Israel, you have not stopped your endless human right violations. You have not stopped illegal settlements. You killed thousand people, as in the last genocide against Gaza, in 2014. You have shown that you do not respect international law. This is why that on April 7, 2015, Elite cyber squadrons from around the world will decide to unite in solidarity with the Palestinian people against Israel. As one entity to disrupt and erase Israel from cyberspace. To the government of Israel, we always say expect us, but you always fail. We are unexpected, we'll show you on the 7th of April, 2015, what's the electronic holocaust mean. We are anonymous. To the foolish Benjamin Netanyahu and the whole Israel leaders. Expect the unexpected. Katyusha, or Little Kate, multiple rocket launcher, had been developed in the late 1930s and was first used in action in July 1941. Because of the peculiar sound it made on launching, the weapon was named Stalin's organ by German troops. By 1945, the Katyusha fired 132 mm fin-stabilized rockets with 40-pound high-explosive warheads to a distance of 9,250 yards. The weapons could be mounted on two-and-a-half-ton trucks, which had their cabs protected by steel blast deflectors, or in freestanding launchers, able to fire up to 48 rockets in a volley. To the German infantrymen, the Katyusha was the most feared weapon in the Soviet arsenal. And although the rockets were none too accurate, a Katyusha barrage could lay waste a vast area of the battlefield, destroying everything in its path. 